WTT411 is back. And today, it's going to be the first half of the first round of the Tournament of Justice. The first, we have Catwoman vs. Deadshot. And Catwoman attempts to hit him. He dodges the, shot, dodges the attack. But she turns around and hits him. So, right now, the battle looks pretty fair. With just a flurry of attacks from Catwoman. But, Deadshot is kind of standing up, but I don't, not really. And now he's just getting small. He's getting mauled. It's like Deadshot is a, is a rodent. That one's an actual cat. That's just how gruesome this is. And Deadshot actually gets it off. It's nice. So, Catwoman goes back. See them. I like to pick that up. And then get her super move off. Whoop drags her. And more back to split. But she gets hit with bullets, which apparently barely have any effect. More bullets. There's no way to explain how many bullets she gets how she's surviving this, but she's not even a meta human, but whatever. This makes sense. So now at the clash and straight to the face. Like I I accidentally use clashes too much. I just get too curious with the buttons, I don't know. But anyway, Catwoman is well, well he's, he's down. Down for the count. And he's been eliminated. And Catwoman moves on. So now we will see. We will see. What Batman villain takes on Catwoman? The amount of Batman villains in this section is very weird. So, Scarecrow goes out, tries to hit him, but two times, but Scarecrow is countered. And now, Scarecrow is getting hit soon. But the Joker is just. as he uses the environment to his advantage. He uses fear gas to his advantage, so the environment's fine too. As the face of Superman gets destroyed. Once again. Actually, is this Superman? I've been feeling Superman for a time. Probably is, but whatever. So. These attacks. Attacks from everywhere that Joker cannot counter. He gets an entire table with technology on the throne at him. As Scarecrow keeps charging and charging, but at this moment Joker pulls off a super move in retaliation. Just so he can feel better about himself. But he already knows he's done for. Now Circle instantly comes out here and uses his super move, which he can't hit. And rarely hits. Which is very sad. Because I already used the super move. And. Domination is due as Scarecrow moves on to face, on, to face Catwoman. So now we have Swamp Thing for Superman and. It was a massacre. It, it was not pretty. So Swamp Thing gets a hit and gets that first hit bonus, but Superman is not playing. Superman doesn't play those games. Superman doesn't play any games in here. He will destroy you. Just look at how he's just flying into the air while holding Swamp Thing and just throwing him straight to the ground. Swamp Thing doesn't really stand out with a chance. Even when he hits Superman, he still gets hit. He still takes damage, and that's already a health bar loss. So Swamp Thing does get a super move off, and this really didn't do that much. So Swamp Thing still attempting to win, but it's 
it's not really looking that good. It's just, just stop. Just, just don't do it. Well, now here comes Superman Super Move, which is just overkill at this point. And there goes Slot Thing as Superman moves on to the next round. We'll see who he faces Superman after this next fight. If you're going to be Flash or Cyborg. I'll like say the Cyborg, but you're no. Blind if you can't just see no. The difference. Begin. So, this one wasn't really a pretty fight. You'd expect Cyborg to do better, but this is just, this is just sad. This is very, very sad. It's already, there goes the health bar. So he's attempting to stay in it, but it's not happening. Regime won't pardon traitors. I wouldn't want It's just thing. not happening. But we got the defender success for a three percent increase in health, but that's still not gonna help him that much since the flash still has over 75% of his health left. As he swings, hits him, can't get that last hit for critical damage, but he gets the kick. One kick. One kick man. Finish him off. A Flash will go on to face Superman in the next round. So now we have Bane versus Blue Beetle. And Bane tried. And Blue Beetle tried. So he instantly goes out trying to get that hit, but Blue Beetle quickly jumps behind him and misses him. He he grabs down the banister, getting the ice on Blue Beetle's head. Blue Beetle counters. These slow hits are not good against someone like Blue Beetle, who has, who has range attack, so he can easily step back, shoot you, step back, shoot you, step back, pull up, green light, whatever. He does what he wants. As long as he's not near you. He's still he's still pretty good, close range. But he's not but he, and he's really good at getting stuff. He's really good at catching stuff with his face. He's good at catching fists with his face. He's good at catching everything with his face. And the missed super move there is what what was really bad for Bane. That's what really caused Bane to lose. As right there, you know it's over. When he hits the super move. But Bane's not nice at catching stuff in his face too. So, just looking at the health, you know it's over with. You know it's over with. Bane can do all he wants, but it's not gonna happen. This is not gonna happen. And, there you go. Bane has fallen, and it was a surprising early exit. There will be some upsets as Blue Beetle moves on. Heard Newton's third law of physics? So now we will see who he faces physics. with this fight. Science has come a long way, lady. You have Wonder Woman versus Firestorm. So we have quick strikes from both. One is stronger. But one will give you third degree burns all across your body. So, yes. And one will spam moves. Just look at the great spamming technique of Firestorm. The amazing spamming technique. If this was a normal human, if this was Catwoman, she'd probably have third degree burns. So, you know, Firestorm is doing amazingly. This isn't looking good for Wonder Woman at all. And she's trying. 
He's really trying. But, you know, look at the health difference. I've only seen it come back by Chris once. And it was actually a, really, a bigger comeback. But still. So, she does hit the super move. Which actually does give her a chance at retribution. But, saw slightly more health. Like this, like, the health is pretty much even, but this is where Stanley comes in. And spamming and combos is what really gave Firestorm the edge here. Temperatures it is an accidental. It is an accidental clash. Which is actually what got one woman to kill over. So, you know, try attempting to make a comeback. But eventually, Wonder Woman falls. So now, Firestorm wins to face Blue Beetle, which is actually good because they're both. They, they were actually both in the story together. So now, the winner of this match will go on to face Poison Ivy. And. Well, dog spam. That's all I have to say. Dog spam. The the dog spam is just amazing. You cannot fight the dog spam. Dogs are the most OP thing we've ever seen. Just just look look at the aggressiveness of these mutts. Look at the aggressiveness of these hounds. They will maul your face off. They will bite your face. They will kill you so you no know, use agility to your advantage and off because dogs are OP she has a cat down there but dogs are just OP dogs are just, just completely OP dogs dogs will murder you they will maul your face they will completely obliterate your face as you know it they will literally destroy you. They will literally kill you. They will literally fall your ball. Why am I talking about dogs so much? As there's another accidental class, but it doesn't matter at all. That doesn't matter at all because, well, yeah. Harley Quinn's still dominating in this. Because I'm, I'm not really good for trotters. So. This is this is currently the last fight of the ant. Now Harley Quinn has a nice victory here. She moves on to face Poison Ivy. So now that'll be it for the first episode. Yeah.